In the Undoctored Inner Circle website recently, we released an advanced concepts discussion about how to better deal with migraine headaches. You know, lots of people are plagued by migraine headaches that can be incapacitating. They've had them for years or even decades and have submitted to all kinds of medications, even often going to the emergency room to get relief. And often are plagued by these things and become very reliant on the medical system. But the truth is there are many very effective strategies you can pursue on your own, don't need a doctor to follow, that can be quite effective and obtain a partial, if not complete, relief from migraine headaches. And I've seen this play out many times. Well, we talk about all those additional strategies to consider in the Undoctored Inner Circle Advanced Concepts report on migraine headaches, but I want to focus here on this idea that magnesium is critical for preventing or reversing migraine headaches. But many people don't get it quite right because there are problems with magnesium. First of all, most tablet forms are better laxatives than they are at restoring magnesium. And for that reason, if you have a problem that's very problem, very troublesome, like migraine headaches, I would urge you to use the magnesium water recipe. I had that recipe posted on the Undoctored blog, the Undoctored book, the Wheat Belly blog, Wheat Belly Total Health book, and the Wheat Belly 10-Day Grain Detox book. Is, uh, so there's lots of places to find that very simple recipe. It's a recipe simply that uses uh, magnesium hydroxide, that's milk of magnesia, which must be unflavored, okay, because the flavoring used in the milk of magnesia blocks the reaction we want. So milk of magnesia and carbonated water, typically seltzer water. We don't want some of the flavored, I'm sorry, some of the uh, uh, sweetened forms of seltzer that have a lot of sugar or high fructose corn syrup. We don't want that. The, the proportions are in the recipe. It's very, very simple. Make the magnesium water now, even as the magnesium bicarbonate, that's what results when you, when you uh, react the magnesium hydroxide and the carbonated water. You get magnesium bicarbonate and water. The magnesium bicarbonate is the best form of magnesium you can get. It is the most effective and quickest at raising tissue levels of magnesium. And we <clears throat> start with four ounces or a half cup twice a day. Each half cup or four ounce serving provides 90 milligrams of magnesium. So a half cup serving twice per day adds only 180 milligrams of magnesium per day. We're trying to get to at least 400 milligrams per day in order to obtain relief from migraine headaches. Build up to eight ounces or one cup twice a day. Even that's only 360 milligrams per day. So it would help if you could add a midday dose of at least four, eights, four ounces, if not eight ounces. And you do this for weeks, months, and even years because the profound magnesium deficiency uh, that allows migraine headaches is not reversed within days or weeks. It's reversed over months to years, so you have to stick with it. Now, if you say, well, I have a normal blood level of magnesium, that's, no, that's not helpful because the body has a way of protecting your blood level of magnesium. That is, it will sacrifice magnesium stored in your bones, for instance, to maintain a normal blood level of magnesium. So a normal blood level, whether it's a serum level, the most common test, or an RBC, a red blood cell level, that's somewhat better. Even if that's normal, you can still have profound body depletion of magnesium, particularly in the bones, and that results in osteoporosis and, 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 and fractures over time. So do not be falsely reassured by a normal blood level of magnesium. You can still have profound magnesium, including sufficient enough to allow migraine headaches. So the key with magnesium is if you have a problem like a migraine headache, use the best form of magnesium we have, which is your, the magnesium bicarbonate you make yourself by following the magnesium water recipe. Do it consistently. Build up the dose. Uh, as you build up the dose, if you encounter loose stools, back down on the dose. But over time, try to big build that dose up and try to get at least 400, if not 500 milligrams of magnesium per day, because that's where you start to get relief from, uh, from migraine headaches. So keep in mind, just what a powerful strategy you have in your hands just by having this access to this magnesium water recipe. But you've got to stick to it, and you've got to get it right.